Hello friends, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing my stash, mainly because I have to go through it, reorganize it. Every time I open up my yarn cupboard, yarn's spilling out on me and falling all over stuff. And it's, I don't have like an open storage solution or like, cup, like several cupboards where I can like loosely stack things. Like I kind of have to cram it in there. So whenever I have to find something, I have to dig through layers and like it, it's not ideal. So my plan today is to go through what I have, see if there's any stuff that I want to de-stash. And then I am going to start a chart where I'm going to track the yarn I have, what fiber it is, the weight, the yardage, the grams, color, and how many balls or hanks of that yarn that I have. So that way, if I'm looking at a future project, I can be like, do I have this yarn? Now I know Ravelry has this sort of like feature, I'm pretty sure. But I don't really under understand Ravelry. I use Ravelry to browse patterns every now and then a lot of project and usually those projects are because they're test knits and the person I'm test knitting for requests that we share that. So other than that, I don't really do that. But I have my knitting notebook that I will put this all in. I'm just currently taking quick notes in this random notebook just to get it down on paper and then I will put it in nicely in my actual knitting notebook but yeah there's 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 a lot more than what I thought I had before I show you what's kind of here because there's a lot here I will go ahead and kind of show you where my stash currently resides in my laundry room I have this cupboard that has majority of my stash down here is all my full indie dyed hanks then I have some like leftovers and some oddball caked up yarns these two baskets there's a basket underneath has this one has leftovers and other oddball things like this one isn't technically a leftover but yeah and then under that is like a bin of cotton then on top I have mini hanks and then just some other oddball yarn uh, yeah, really need to go through that. And then up top is all of my more commercial yarn. I've got some alpacas and some cotton and just larger quantities of yarn. And down in this drawer, I have a couple of like bags of yarn. So yeah, they, and then just a couple of random balls. In my family room on our built-ins, I have these two shelves. Mostly holds my books, and then I have knitting tools, knitting bags, and stuff down there. This basket holds any yarn that I'm like currently using in projects, so like I have a sweater going in both of those yarns. <laughs> this basket has a, just a hodgepodge of all the things, leftovers, and then a few summer yarns, I don't know. This bowl has cotton yarns for dishcloths, etc. And then I have one random package of yarn there. So that's basically a majority of my stash and where it's stored, but it is currently a hot mess. So we gotta we gotta figure it out. get into is maybe oh, I don't know where to start oh there's just so much stuff I think I'll start with like the known sweater quantities 
and get that out of the way and then kind of move on to all the little tidbits and bobs <laughs> rather than trying to sort through that first. So first thing I have is this basket, which this basket, I always put the yarn that I'm currently using in projects. I keep this in my family room so then when I run out of yarn I can just easily go to the basket and the yarn is already wound and ready to go. So in this basket is some gifted knit picks high desert wool. It's a tweed beautiful yarn. And I have a couple that I didn't cake up just because I wasn't sure how much the sweater is going to end up needing in the long run. I am going to pull out of the bottom. I do have some drops lima left over from a sweater that I never pulled out so I'm gonna pull that up now and then I have my paint box cotton DK yarn that I'm crocheting a shirt out of I am doing the limonada out of this yarn I am just kind of it's kind of a hot mess in there I do have more of this that is not in this basket it's still in its plastic bag and the color I'm using is pistachio. So yeah, it's a really pretty yarn. But I'm not going to do anything with this basket because it just has these yarns. I forgot to mention it also has Premier Wool Select, which I'm knitting my lotter sweater out of. So these yarns are just chilling. Oh look, there's a fourth yarn in here I forgot to mention. Uh, I have my drop saffron in here over there up on a pillow where you cannot see it. I have a uh, raglan I'm knitting out of this. I haven't touched it in a long while, but I am working on a sweater with this yarn. It's just not really currently active, but I do have some yarn in here and there will be some more yarn in a minute that I will show you. Okay, so I'm, I don't know if I'm going to include that yarn on my list since it's currently being used. I think I'm gonna leave those off of my list. It's not like I'm, trying to like track my yardage in and out or anything though I think I will in my other book once I get it all sorted I think I will include when I've used it and if there were any leftovers I think that might be good and then if I decide to like de the leftovers I'll just scratch it out but if there are leftover yardage that like I could use in a future project I will maybe make note of that. I don't know. This is a work in progress. We'll see what happens. But okay, let's move on. So there's that basket that has all the things that I'm currently working on. I think we'll move on to this little box of drops and lima that I have. This actually is, I thought this was drops lima. This is Lion Brand Wool Ease, which I had I have some other scraps of that, so I'm gonna set this aside for right now and not worry about writing that down. But I have two balls of Drops Lima in color 100, zero 100. It's just, I think it's a natural. It doesn't really have a color. It's that sheepy, off-white, warm tone. So there's that. I have two balls of that, so I'm gonna write that down. I'm not going to go into the specs of each and every yarn just because that'd be a lot, but the Drops Lima is a wool packa. So they've got two balls of that one, and then I have two balls of this gray, and I have a whole bunch of this. This is actually a full sweaters quantity. Uh, I had those in with the sweaters quantity, but it, obviously the two balls are not. I mean, maybe a itty bitty baby sweater. I have, this is color 9020. Write this down, 9020. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 balls of this. So we have a sweater quantity Worth of this, this will be turning into a textured sweater, either one by Petite Knits. There's that really pretty, I don't remember the name of it, bing, here's the sweater. Yeah, it's really gorgeous and textured. I really like that one. 
that is definitely on my list and then that or maybe a cabled sweater but i'm currently working on a cable sweater uh, my lauder and i'm hating my life right now so definitely not an all over cable sweater but that could become a cable or texture sweater i have six balls of this premier wool select in the color twig it's a really nice brown this is a dk acrylic and wool blend 75 25 uh, the primary fiber being acrylic. I got this on deep discount from Premier because they are no longer going to be carrying this yarn. So I decided, you know what, for a sweater's quantity and it's, I think it was going to be $17 for a sweater's quantity. I was like, yeah, I can do that. So I got this. The plan is to make a not all over cable sweater, but I want something that's maybe like mostly ribbed or mostly stockinette that maybe has like a cable down the arm or under the arm or like maybe one big cable or like really big cables that aren't like super tiny cables like that are mostly like stockinette and then like a twist or two. So that's kind of the idea I have with this yarn. But yeah, I, I really like it. I have the same yarn, but in black. Uh, nothing too exciting. Uh, just same thing, except for I have five balls of this and not six. But I'm thinking cardigan. I really want a cardigan, black one. So this is this is what I'm hoping to do that that one this year. Very 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 much want black cardigan. Next up, I have some knit picks wool of the Andes. This is the color chestnut, and I have 10 balls of this. And this will be coming a Calm Down Cardigan by Lily Kate France. I already have the pattern for it, and this is on my to make list hopefully this year. There's, I've got a lot of things I want to make this year. If all of them, I, I highly doubt all of them are going to happen, but it's the plan. Next, let's kind of move into, I mean, it's kind of like larger project quantities but cotton yarns so first first one I have is drops cotton light this one is on no lies this is not 100% cotton this is 50% cotton 50% polyester this is a DK weight I have how many balls of this do I have I just wrote it down I have 10 balls of this uh, the plan is to maybe make a pattern by sorry Nordland this one, I can't remember the name of it. There are too many names, too, too many different patterns that I want to make. I can't remember them all. But it's this beautiful texture pattern. I don't know if I have enough yarn of this. Hence the reason me wanting to go through my stash and figure out what I have of each yarn. Uh, but I really want to make that sweater. Uh, if I don't have enough of this yarn, then maybe... Maybe I will use that Drops Lima. I don't know. But I really like this and I think it would be really beautiful and really great for summer because the, the yarn that she uses has some silk content so it has a little bit of drape to it and I really like that. The next one is Drops Paris in a beautiful caramelly color. This is an Erin weight and I have five balls of this one. I plan on doing a summer tank top. I think the original plan was one of my modified Sugar Boo bralettes by Kadri. Last year I made a, I turned it into a tank top and I work quite a bit. So I'm thinking of doing that again with this one. Just because they're in the pile, there's my paint box DK and then the drop saffron in the white color, which are currently in projects. So I didn't write them down, but I have to move them to get to the next yarn, which is another drop saffron, but in this beautiful navy color, which I really like. I have eight balls of this yarn. I'm a little conflicted on this one. Originally I was thinking a like really nice v-neck sweater for like nice occasions and maybe a little lace on the sleeves. I'm pretty sure the Evermore by Kadri was kind of what I had in mind. But now I'm kind of thinking a really wide like shawl. I don't like shawls, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but when I think shawls, I think like granny triangles, and I don't like triangle shawls at all, but I'm thinking of maybe doing the Frank 
by Hohi Locatelli, but just doing it a solid color in like this navy blue. So I need to check my yardage and see if I have enough for that. It is sport weight and hers is fingering. So I'm hoping that I might be able to make that work. So yeah, I think that might be nice. I have a cotton blanket in my living room and the other day I was wearing it around my shoulders and it was just so nice. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe doing that with this. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how often I would wear a navy blue sweater with lace. I don't know. Maybe I would wear it a lot, but I'm feeling probably not as much as like something I could just throw on the couch and then on my shoulders and then on my lap, that type of thing. So I don't know. Still contemplating, but I'm going to check my yardage and then maybe do the Frank. Here I have some Tribu by Lion Brand. This is a bamboo yarn and I have three balls of this and I'm kind of thinking of doing a home camisole by Kadri out of this. I think it might be really nice to have a super drapey bamboo tank top. Might, might be really nice. I really like this. It's so soft. I really love this yarn a lot. I don't know how well it's going to wear. I knit a t-shirt out of this last year, but I didn't wear it much because I had to fix the neckline. Just did that though. So we'll see how it ends up holding up after wearing and washing, etc. Next, I have four balls of this Valley Yarns, which is by Webb's America's Yarn Store, Haydenville DK. There's a lot of things on the front of this. I'm not sure which is like the name of the yarn, but... <laughs> It's a 60% superwash merino and 40% acrylic. Why did I think this was cotton? Apparently I thought this was cotton. It is not. I have it in with the cottons, but okay. It was stored with the cottons, but so I was just continuing on. But I bought enough to make like a shirt or a tank top. So that's probably what it will become. I don't really know 100% yet, but it's black yarn. And I have four balls of it, so yeah, it will definitely get used. I'm not sure exactly what pattern, but definitely something summer and small. Or, or, if I check the yardage and I have enough, maybe a sweater for one of the kids, if there's enough. If there's not enough, I'll knit something for me, but otherwise I might actually use this for one of the kids. things to consider because it can be washed because it's super wash and acrylic. Ooh, that makes me excited. I really hope there's enough yardage for a kid's sweater because I've been wanting to make them each a sweater, but I don't really have any kid yarns at the moment. They're all stuff for me. <laughs> so I, but I want to make them all a sweater before fall and winter. So maybe, maybe we will see. Next is Holscarn Coast. In black, it is a 50% wool and then 45% cotton. And I have this one little guy and a cone. I already have knit a Remy camisole out of this by Kadri. I don't know if I ever, I don't think I ever took photos of that one. <laughs> I did make a tank top. I don't think I took a bunch of photos of it. But I have plans to use this with this. This is Drops Alpaca Silk in black. And I'm kind of thinking a turtleneck, black turtleneck, or a rolled neck. Just something basic, either a drop shoulder or a raglan. I don't really know, but I want just something black and simple and cozy because I wear black <laughs> a lot. So I kind of want my own knit sweater of black. It is kind of... I want more black things. Like I want to knit a black cardigan. I want a black pullover. I want, yeah, I want more black in my wardrobe. But then I have, how many balls of this do I have? I have eight balls of this. So more than enough to make a sweater out of holding it with this cotton wool. Yeah, there's that. And I think that is mostly it for large quantities worth of cotton. The rest of it is a lot of oddball little guys, which I'm not going to go into detail with 
each just because there is so much of it. But let's let's kind of do a quick overview. I have a black paint box DK and a black Hobie rainbow. Uh, I thought I had more of each of these, but apparently I have one ball of each. Maybe we'll come across more later. Here we have paint box Aaron and another paint box Aaron. This one is vanilla cream. This is an unknown color because I bought this years and years and years ago. I think, oh, five years ago now? To knit my nephew who was not yet born. I like it. And I had this left over. And this, I made a camisole out of this last year. Let's see what else we got. Got lots of peaches and cream. And we've got white. We've got brown, more brown, beige, more white, some in black, some in green. And I think that's all of the paint. Or, nope, hold on. Blue. This is all the peaches and cream or sugar and cream or whatever. I lie, there's another white. I always keep this type of cotton on hand because I like to knit dishcloths and I actually want to knit uh, up pot holders, more pot holders because I made the one by Pearl Soho, the spirally colored one, it's terrible. The stupid middle always pops up on it. But the double garter like that actually works pretty good for a pot holder. I was terrified to use it to actually grab hot things but I use it all the time and it is fabulous. I don't know why I'm still holding all this against my neck. Found a crochet hook. And scrubby yarn. Some leftover drop saffron from a sweater I knit. More. I just keep all of my cotton scraps, even if I've used them for garments, I use them for dishcloths. So like I have, oh, what is this wool or cotton? This is from Wool and the Gang. I crocheted a sweater out of it and then I tore it out and knit a sweater out of it and still had leftovers because crochet eats more yarn than knitting does. So I have all of this leftover from my crocheted sweater that I've been using to make dishcloths, etc. out of. This is a very messy ball of Lion Brand's jeans yarn. I have almost two full balls of this. I have this one and then a partial ball, probably two thirds of a ball. Yeah, I don't, I think I had thought maybe I would make something out of this, but I thought I had three balls. But I don't have three balls, I only have two balls. So, dishcloths. Yeah, I think that is all of the cotton. It's just a lot of random scrappy bits. <laughs> but that's okay, because like I said, it gets used, and especially around like gift time or whatever. And like, I also like to really make them for like baby and bridal showers. Like, I mean, <laughs> Every time my sister has been pregnant or got married, or my sister-in-law got married, I made dish dishcloths for gifts and prizes and whatnot. So it's always nice to have that for as well. Now I'm gonna kind of move into some oddball wools and just oddball yarns that I have that I'm either going to de-stash or I just don't exactly have set plans for. So to start off with, I have two balls of this Happy Sheep from, I bought it from Hobie years ago. Uh, I guess it's not two balls, it's one and a partial. But I think we're going to de-stash this. I don't foresee using this for anything. I don't think it's quite enough. I don't think I'd want this in a hat. It's not particularly soft and it's not enough to really do a whole lot otherwise with it. So I think I'm gonna de-stash that. I also actually have some in this gray. So I think I'm gonna de-stash those guys. I also am going to for sure de-stash this Holst Super, or yeah, Holst Garn Super Soft. I have three balls of this green. It's a really nice green. It's very dark. It's probably not showing up super well on screen. I'm not sure. I, you, you, the screen's kind of far away from me <laughs> and I'm kind of blind but yeah it's dark olive and it's really pretty but I don't like super soft because it is not super soft and I know some people are like well you gotta wash it with this and you gotta wash it with that and you just gotta wear it and I'm not willing to do that it's just it's not like prickly itchy it's just so rough and I just don't find it I there's lots of people who are like oh it softens up and it's not too bad but I tried, 
I just didn't want to, I don't want to keep trying. But I do like the whole like tides and coast bases. Those I think are perfectly pleasant. I just don't like the super soft. I have these two balls of super soft and then this one ball of coast, which I will probably lump into a little package or something for a de-stash because I already used these two in fingerless mittens and don't foresee needing them for anything else. This was left over from a cardigan I knit, so don't need any more of that. I mean, I could use this maybe, well, it's wool and cotton. I could use this for a towel or a dishcloth, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I have some Hobie Alpaca Blaze. I have one of this color, which is left over from a sweater I knit. And then I have four balls of this beigey color, beigey creamy, and then one ball of black. And I plan on de-stashing all of this because I, I don't think it's particularly very soft. This one has, it's 40% acrylic, 30% alpaca, and 30% polyamide. And to be completely honest, if I'm remembering, I'm pretty sure the drops alpaca silk is cheaper than this is and obviously it's alpaca and silk so yeah this is way softer than this is and the sweater that I knit using this was it's just a hair prickly and it's not the alpaca it's definitely the high acrylic content so I plan on de-stashing these because I'm not going to use them okay Let's see, what else do I have? I have this little guy, which my sister-in-law gave to me for, I think, my birthday. It's 100% wool. It's Gizmo. I've never heard of this brand before. It's a really nice green. This is actually going to become Bigfoot's hat and scarf. I am currently making a fuzzy Bigfoot, which I have ugh, the extra yarn for right here. This is a Knit Picks Fable Fur. But yeah, this is going to become a hat for Bigfoot. <laughs> hat and scarf. So actually I should pull this out of stash so I don't forget which yarn I'm using for his hat and scarf. But I thought that'd be super cute because it's only 50 grams. I can't really make a whole, like anything super big out of this, but I think it's so cute and would look really adorable on Bigfoot. So I'm gonna actually set that aside. Then let's see what else we got here. I have one full ball and a partial ball of this, um, what is this? Cozy Wool Tweed. This is like Michael's brand of yarn. And I knit myself a sweater out of this and I still, I have quite a bit left over. Yeah, I have this that I plan on de-stashing because I don't have any, I don't need to knit anything more out of this yarn. I also have a little bit of pink that I will include in that. Oh, this yarn. This yarn keeps getting tossed around in my stash. I should probably just find it a new home. This poor yarn is just being pushed and pulled in and out of the cupboard. This is Hobie's Davina. I was gifted this yarn years ago. I knit a beautiful colorwork sweater that my husband shrank in the wash. That's totally fine. Nah. My daughter now wears it, so it's okay. It's big on her, but whatever. It eventually will fit her. It just doesn't fit me anymore. But yeah, I, these are left over and I keep saying, I'm going to knit a hat. And then I never knit a hat and the yarn continues to sit. So I think I should just de-stash this rather than continuing to shove it in and out of my cupboard. I think I'll do that because I feel kind of bad. Okay. What do we got over here? Uh, I have some leftover Drop Slima from a sweater in it. Oh, Lion Brand Woolies. Lion Brand Woolies. Ma, I think I'm gonna keep this. Oh, oh, I always use the white. But I think I'm gonna keep this pink for maybe future baby knits. I really should just start knitting some baby things here and there, like when I need something small to knit on, like knit some baby hats and just to have them ready to gift when somebody like says they're gonna have a baby. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the pink, always keep the whites. Surprisingly, I don't actually have very much Lion Brand Woolies in my stash. I've used like all of it. Normally I have quite a bit, but I don't really have any other 
I do have some Lion Brand uh, Heartland in the pink. I don't like this pink as much. I knit a hat and something, I think I knit two baby hats and something else baby out of one ball. And I, there's still more left. I don't like this pink. This pink is much nicer. This is very like bubble gummy baby pink, where this is a nice like peachy pink. This one is Canyon Sunset. That even sounds nice. <laughs> I have one ball of all the Andes worsted in Amber Heather. This is very pretty. I really like this. Uh, the last odd, well, these are acrylic. Hold on. I have a little bit of acrylic, main acrylic stuff. I have three balls of this. This is Style Craft Special Chunky. It's just acrylic that I bought to make a mousse out of, which I started and have not touched. Uh, yeah, but this is the mousse, his body and head, his antlers, and I think hooves, maybe? And then this will be the wreath that goes around his neck. I will knit it before Christmas this year. It will get done. It's a goal. I think I have, hold on, we're digging through. A few commercial fingering weight yarns. Let's see what I've got here. Uh, I have some leftover Hobie Sparkle Christmas yarn, which I knit a pair of socks out of that are super itchy. I really just need to get rid of this. I I think there's, I'll have to weigh it, but I'm pretty sure there's like 40 grams, maybe, maybe 50. Uh, but there is enough to make like a shorter pair of socks, especially if you use contrasting heels, toes, and cuffs. I have some Knit Picks Stroll, I think is the 7525 in this lovely green. And then I have some Patton's Croy Sock in red. And then I have this really fun uh, Happy Toes by Hobie. It's just this self-striping. It's a 50 gram ball. I got this with one of my orders. I had like enough like reward points to like pick a free item and I got to pick this yarn, which was kind of cool to have enough points to buy it, to like get free yarn. I was like, hey, look at that. I can knit some socks. So this is actually probably my next pair of socks after I finish the ones I'm currently wearing, working on, not wearing, I'm not wearing socks, hand knit socks. Okay, I had to take a brief, pa brief pause to reload the camera battery and get myself a drink. I have quite a few mini hanks. I'm not gonna show each one individually because yeah, this video is just, it would be way too long to go through each and every one. So I'm gonna hold up a handful of the warm tones that I have. Look at all those beautiful warm colors. So cheerful. And then all my cooler colors. It's like a gray Pacific Northwestern day. But then we have this one. That's just so bright, the the camera doesn't even know what to do with it. Uh, yeah, so there's all the cool toned ones that I have. Last time I went through my stash, I did de-stash quite a bit of mini hanks, uh, just because there was a lot of ones that I wasn't going to use. They weren't really colors I was into. I have started knitting fingering weight socks more though, so I am excited to hopefully get some more of these into projects and like actually give them some life <laughs> instead of just like on the shelf, which making me very excited. Okay, I have in here a bunch of like leftovers from projects that are like wools and wool blends. I was hoping to find, I'm hoping it's still back in that guy. I have some leftover yarn from a hat that I had made this is Cascade Heritage, maybe, I don't know. I bought it in a D-stash. It's Cascade for sure, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's a 7525. Again, not 100% positive, but I have some of this that I had left over from a hat and I'm pretty sure I only use like part of 100 grams because I held it double with some alpaca. So, I don't know where the other hank would have gone though, so I'm hoping it's in there, but it's not in this basket like I thought it was. But like this brown, I plan on using in some socks. And I have this guy, which I have 
caked up that I thought maybe I would knit into a hat or something. I don't know. It's really fun. I really like it. I also have caked up some Bella Flotto, which I planned on knitting into some socks. Originally, I was thinking for my daughter, and then I was like, no, nah, I want to make them into socks for me. But now I'm thinking, ah, let's make some socks for my daughter. So they will probably become socks for my daughter. I have this caked up. This is from Little Wolf Knits. This is the color Seagrass. It's funny how some colors, like, names stick with me, and then others just, they fly the coop. I do have another hank of this in there that is not caked up. I started to work on a project and then wasn't liking the project. So I don't remember what the project was, but I'm thinking maybe a tank top. I don't know. I'm not hundred percent sure because I only have two balls of it. So it's not enough to like make a full sweater, but I'm thinking maybe a tank top. We'll see. Let's get into, oh, this is very heavy. This box. Whoops. <laughs> Sliding out the back. I have this box that I keep inside of the sh like cupboard that I keep my yarn in just to keep the indie dyed stuff kind of in its own spot. Now there's a mix of stuff that I've purchased, some gifted from like yarn swaps and some that I've traded for. If it's been gifted, like gifted as in here, try this yarn or share this yarn, I will try to remember. But otherwise, be aware that some of these have been gifted in yarn swaps or just gifted as gifts <laughs> because like friends like to give things to each other. Um, and then some of them have been trades. So like I've traded my products for yarn. <laughs> so yeah, not all of this. I have not paid for all of this. Probably maybe I've paid for a third of them and I don't remember all of them but just be aware that I have not purchased all this yarn with my own money. But let me dump this out. Ready? <laughs> it has to get messy before it can get clean, right? That's what I like to tell myself anyways. Okay, yarn. Let's start with the sweater quantities that I have in here. Ooh, one lost a ball band. Oh, there's lots of ball bands floating around. Fabulous, I love that for me. I have a sweater quantity of these two yarns. The brown is from ZZ Textiles and this lovely white is from Woolberry Fiber Coat and the plan is to make a sibling sweater my size by Laura Penrose. This is something I want to cast on in the not too distant future because it is just so stunning. It's so gorgeous. I... Mm. Hold on, hold on, here we go. Oh yeah, stripey sweater. It's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> I have this gorgeous salty blonde fiber that is a DK, it's super wash, merino, and silk. I have one of these. I don't know what's gonna become yet, but it is absolutely stunning. Next, I have three hanks of Sorella's uh, merino nylon base this is the color what is this color home <sighs> now okay so there are two dye lots this one i bought quite a while ago and then the next year i was gifted these two but the dial is so extremely different i wanted to knit a sweater out of this now if you hold fingering Du uh, double with like an alpaca which I had thought about doing with this black alpaca because how rich and gorgeous would that be I would have enough to mostly knit a sweater out of these two I have knit a sweater two sweaters now using mostly two hanks holding a double and then needing this for like cuffs and necks and hems and stuff so I'm hoping that I can maybe do that with these yarns I just it, it continues to live in my stash because I'm undecided it's just they're so different like if you looked at them on like one side or the other you would think they were pretty close but then when you put them next to each other it's it's very much different so yeah they're currently I do have technically a sweaters quantity worth of that yarn but maybe, I don't know what to do with it yet. 
I have it though. I love it. I think it is gorgeous. I love that tone of green, but I just am not sure what it's going to become. So anyways, I have, there's that full hank of little wolf yarns. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Okay, let's keep moving on. We have Malabrigo. This is Malabrigo, right? What is this? Yeah, it's Malabrigo. <laughs> this beautiful sage green. I absolutely love this. It is, I'm pretty sure it's Merino. Oh, it's just 100% Merino. There is 440 yards, so I could maybe make this a mini mock neck. That would be really pretty. That would be really pretty. But I also have considered making a mini mock neck out of this one. This is Bigfoot Yarn Company. And this one is Merino Cashmere and Nylon. And it is super floofy, super squishy, and just absolutely fabulous. I don't know. It might be a nice hat. Because I had knit myself like a really nice, sagey, minty colored hat that was too big. And then I over dyed it and gifted it to my dad. So maybe a hat or socks. So many possibilities. Ooh, like this, a pair of socks. Oh yes. Or, or, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, so many options, lots of different ideas with that one. I have some Nordic Winter Beautiful yarn from Bella Filato. This is Merino Nylon and Stellina. Can you see the sparkle? I'm not sure if you can or not. Yeah, you can kind of see the sparkle. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is not a normal color I would pick out for Christmas. But I'm kind of thinking Valentine's socks for next year. I didn't get to it this year because I was still finishing up a pair of Christmas socks. I had thought about casting them on. But I think this would be really pretty for Valentine's, like for the month of February. Let's see, what do I got? A little less traditional having the blue. But I don't know. Maybe I could find the pink. I don't have any pink yarns really because I don't like pink very much. But Or I could do a red. Red would be nice. Then it could be Christmas or Valentine's. This isn't the right red, but something like that. That could be fun. I have this hank from Circus Tonic Handmade. I was gifted this in a yarn swap, so I didn't buy it directly from them. But this yarn is Superwash and Bamboo. Okay, now my question to you guys is, can this be used for socks? Like I'm pretty sure my understanding is bamboo yarn is very strong. So is that bamboo taking place of nylon? Is that a thing? I tried looking it up and I just couldn't find any in, like good enough information on it. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place. This could very much be the case. So if you have any resources or if you yourself know if bamboo is a nylon replacement, I would love to know. Because that would be really great. I would love these as socks. If not, there's not quite enough to make a mini mock neck, I don't think. Maybe there could be, but also it's variegated. And it's pink. Like, a very fleshy, to me, pink. And I've done this before where I've knit something in that, like, fleshy color. To my fleshy color. And it's been bad. So, though I like the color, it would probably look better on my feet than by my face. Okay, now I'm confused. I have a ball band, ball band for Felici Bear. And I have a ball, a hank here that has no band. And then I have one here that has a band. I think. This one says it's 100% superwash. And then that one's the 7525. I thought they were both 7525. But the ply looks the same on it, but I mean, well, this one's more twisty and tight. So maybe they are different. If I had superpowers, I could tell. I think this is 7525. I don't know. I thought they were the same base. I thought they were the same. Uh, but I mean, even the hank size is kind of telling me they're probably different. So, yeah. I will probably dye this into some sock yarn then. I don't know what I will do with this. 
I thought it was soft yarn. And I've been holding on to it for that. Oh, but hold on. There's also this. What is this? Oh, I hate it when I separate the ball bands. I don't know what the heck this is. Which one does this look like? They all look the same. Uh, whatever. Okay, well, I have three. Well, no, correction. I have two mystery. One for sure. One maybe. Just gonna set those over there for now, so. No, this one can go on there. Okay, I have a beautiful, beautiful hank of yarn from Porter Wool. I got this at Flock Fiber Festival last year. This is Merino Nylon. Definitely thinking a mini mock neck. Ah, uh, yeah, I just, oh, it's so good. I love this green so very, very much. It was literally sitting next to me because I had my chair and then her booth was right next to me and this yarn was like right at eye level and every time I turn around there it was and it was stunning and yeah so uh, we did a little trade and I brought this this beauty home with me. I'm kind of wishing I had bought a sweater's quantity because I'm not going to lie this would be a fabulous sweater. Maybe this year at Flock. Maybe. Okay, I have Swanky Sock which is Magpie. This is Merino Cashmere Nylon. I, mm, do I want to knit socks out of this? This would make a pretty nice pair of socks. I am trying to be pretty picky and be like, am I actually going to use this? Uh, Coast to Coast Yarn Co. And the Brittle Gill color definitely being used. I love this colorway so very, very much. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Oh, yeah. Paired with the green. Mmm, yes please. Or, or, paired with this, or both. Yep, it's gorgeous. Okay, let's see, what else we got here? We have some Knit Picks 12. These were gifted to me by Knit Picks. This one I do remember I was gifted. I've got two of those. Uh, probably socks for this one. And fingerless mitts for this one. I have this Cascade Heritage, it's Merino Nylon, in this really nice yellow, mustardy color. I, I bought this, but I don't know why I bought this, honestly. I was buying something else, and I just added it to my cart. It was one of those impulse buys, and I'm not really sure why I did it. I have this yarn that I dyed years ago, that's a much richer mustard that I like more. I'm pretty sure this is merino nylon. <laughs> Again, does it have a ball band? No, but I like this better than this. And honestly, I think I'm going to destash this because I don't have any idea or plans in mind for this guy. Have some high country wool in this merino nylon. It's the color Mesa, I think is how you pronounce it. This will become socks. This was gifted yarn. This is wool and cotton from Knit Picks. It's merino and cotton 50-15% blend. One more gifted yarn from Knit Picks. This is Woodland Tweed. It's an Aran base. This will become a hat probably for one of my kids or my father. Oof, we made it. <sighs> that is it. Except for the occasional oddball leftover ball that I'm going to just be de-stashing. There's no point in sharing all the little tidbits and odd balls that are going to be removed. I am a little less overwhelmed than I thought I was going to be. There is a lot here, but actually after going through it, there's a lot of leftovers and scraps and things that I'm actually going to be clearing out. Yarn that I bought to try, didn't like it, so we're going to remove that rather than keep putting it back into stash. And I'm much, I'm much more at ease with what I have because everything does have a pretty clear plan and there's stuff that I can just pull out and use. I do have a lot of summer garment yarn, so I'm hoping this summer I can do a lot of summer knitting because there's more here than I thought. And there is a good amount of sweater yarn. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sweater quantities. 
that and then there's three summer quantities that doesn't seem right <laughs> I guess so why do I feel like there's more oh because I removed one of the cottons I decided I was gonna make a shawl out of that. Also, like some of the, like the one sweater that is going to be made out of cotton, that I'm counting as a summer thing. Yeah, I'm very, I'm, I'm very okay with what I have. And I don't see any immediate need to add anything and no immediate need to like binge it all and like, or not binge it, it's the word I'm looking for. Purge it. I don't feel the immediate needs to purge all the yarn. I'm feeling okay. So now, now the the unfun part has to happen, where I have to take this hot mess of a pile and put it back nicely. That's gonna be fun. But now that I have an idea of what's in my stash, I don't have to like pull things out at random to check the ball band for the yardage and how many balls I have to figure out if I have enough for a specific project. Let me know down in the comments what kind of stash you have. Do you have a ton of yarn? Or are you a small stash person? Do you like to keep it to just like a sweater quantity? Or like do you just knit socks and have a ton of sock yarn? Or what is it keeping your stash? Do you not keep a stash? I used to never keep a stash. I Every time I had a project to make, I just went to the store and I bought the yarn. And then then the sales and then the going to yarn stuff and then starting getting involved in like swaps and trading and yeah it took over but yeah I, I like I don't want to have an enormous stash like I don't want ever to have like the wall of yarn because that stresses me out this stresses me out it's a lot less than I thought it was actually once I got it like put into piles and charted it down um but I'm happy with that. I'm glad it's not more. I thought I had like 12 or 13 sweaters quantities. And I was like, ah, this is too much. I can't do all this. But I probably could knit up all this yarn in, well, the sweater quantities. I could probably knit up in a year and a half, two years. So that's definitely manageable. I thought I was like had five years worth of yarn. I definitely don't have that. But I mean, maybe five years worth of socks. No, not not quite. If I I've been knitting a pair of socks every month, month and a half. So thirteen hanks of sock yarn. Yeah, and some of those are going to be made into tank tops. So yeah, that's uh, enough for year, year and a half. That's not too bad. So yeah, I feel okay with what I have. It's not too overwhelming. I mean, maybe for some of you, it's very overwhelming, uh, but it's not too much to, to handle. I think I can handle all this yarn. And then what I can't handle, or I'm not going to use, I will pass along to people I know. Uh, there might be a couple here that I sell. I don't know. Cause there's a couple here. I don't think anybody I know will be interested in, but yeah. We will see. If I have a D stash, it'll probably be on my website. If you follow me on Instagram, I will announce any such thing there, uh, but I don't have any immediate plans or goals for that. So just keep an eye on my Instagram. Uh, link is down below for that. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this very overwhelming, very chaotic video of my yarn stash. I will show now the reorganized stash areas and how it looks much much cleaner and then we'll just kind of wrap it up all right in my family room i have replaced that back where it belongs i added that hank of or that ball of uh self-striping yarn to that and then this basket i changed to all of the cotton yarn so everything that is cotton scrappy for like dishcloths is in there as well as my big cone of Holskarn uh, coast. So that's in there as well. These sweater and garment quantities are not in there, minus that cone. Uh, but all of that is like my oddball scraps. 
and then that bin is now holding my paint box pistachio yarn for my limonada. There's no longer any yarn in that bottom drawer which had oddball things in there before. Now everything is nicely organized. It may not look nice, but it is. This is all of the like unballed hanks which was like impossible to get things in and out of, but now things slide in and out very nicely, which is wonderful. I do have my sweater quantity of my sibling sweater up top there, along with my alpaca silk. This basket has all the DK and fingering weight yarn that has been put into cakes, whether it's scraps or full, like, balls, just everything is in that one. And then all of my minis. Up here I have now the sweater quantities in their bag still just because it actually makes them stack very nicely. And then be this is all the cotton and bamboo yarn. Then behind it is my Drops Lima sweater quantity and then that black quantity of like acrylic wool and then there's the little bit of cotton right along the top there so everything fits in there much nicer now it's a lot more organized and even though I can't see some of the stuff on top I now because I've written it all down I know what I have and it's just a lot easier to see there's not random stuff stacked if I need to grab something out not everything's gonna come toppling down on top of me which is great so that's my stash. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, all the things, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.